Genesis 3:15. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Enmity. That is a big word. I don't like words, enmity, but I do like two packets of sugar. Not in my tea, Gray Bobby. Enmity. It means greatly disliked. I dislike Brussels sprouts. Does that mean I have enmity with them? Enmity is an even bigger dislike than the dislike you might have for Brussels sprouts. God told the serpent that tempted Adam and Eve to sin that he would be greatly disliked. I don't like snakes very much, especially not Count Venomous. Hey, that's a rude thing to say. Well, the serpent was actually the disguise of the enemy of old, Satan. He had tempted and tricked Adam and Eve into doing that which God had told them not to do. So God told that slithery serpent that his day was coming. He told him that one day, a child born of woman would come and bruise the head of the serpent. What that means is that he would crush or stomp the head of the serpent. Did they know that it would be so many years before Jesus would come and stomp on that old serpent? Through the years, there were many great men who people thought, could this be the one? But one by one, the enemy tempted each person. One by one, each of these special people showed that they weren't the one who would crush the serpent's head and break the curse. But then Jesus arrived and all that changed. He was the one who would break the curse. You mean like all those fairy tales people tell about valiant knights breaking curses, rescuing maidens and slaying dragons? Yes, but Jesus's victory is real. Those fairy tales are just our hearts remembering this promise that God made long, long ago. Our hearts have always known that something is wrong with the world and someone must fix it. This promise was spoken to God's people year after year until finally one night, the first Christmas, Jesus was born. I bet that was a bad day for serpents. <laughs> we really don't like talking about it. Oh, the enemy tried to hurt him but he could not. Later, the enemy tried to tempt him, but he would not disobey. Finally, the enemy tried to kill him, and he did. See, a serpents always win in the end. Not true, Count Venomous. The serpent bruised Jesus, but Jesus wasn't defeated. He came back to life, breaking death into pieces. And when the grave they put him in broke open, the head of the serpent was crushed. Jesus pulled those deadly things out of the serpent's mouth. The promise spoken to the serpent in front of Adam and Eve was fulfilled. If we trust in Jesus, that promise can be ours as well. We no longer need to fear the serpent or death's sting because God always, always, always keeps his promises. You also can trust in God's promise. Oh, you think so, do you? Well, just wait until I unveil my greatest <laughs> curse. Huh. Thank you for watching. To stay up to date on our latest videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook or Instagram. To learn more about the adventures of Grey Bobby, please visit greybobby.com. See you next time!